So today we are going to be drawing one of our environments in 3D yeah, using tilt brush. So let's get going. And here we go. So this world that we're making right now is kind of uh, floating space stations. We're just gonna kind of give it a little antenna. Fire. So one of the really nice things about using 3D to sketch out the, this world that we're, that we're building is that you're able to go from dinosaur scale to be able to kind of create the larger shapes and lay down the, the main blocks of the world that you're gonna build. And then you can start going progressively smaller and smaller to see something as small as a frog or a flower. So right now I'm building the containers based off of our real life kitchens and creating all of the tables and sinks and kitchen equipment that they have so that this sketch feels a little bit more real and more finished when Marlin takes it. This process doesn't give you a refined end product but it's a really good way to kind of brainstorm and get all of the big overarching ideas out into a visual manner that me and Marlon can then go into and talk about how we're gonna actually execute it. I usually work in 2D, but it's really nice to be able to switch over to 3D when we're creating worlds like this because you can get a better sense of how the character will be able to navigate in this town that you're creating. Another really great advantage of being able to work in a program like this is that you're able to test out a lot of the effects and how the world will behave. You can do all of these laser effects, all of the streaming, um, like floating light effects. That's our end product. Now I can export this and hand it off to Marlin so that he can refine it and we'll create an actual world in the metaverse. Mm -hmm.